Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and today's video we are going to be doing 7 AFL facts if if you didn't know them you would not believe them I've been upload I'm, tr I'm trying to upload two days in yeah, yeah two days ago I uploaded a video and two days later I upload two days earlier I uploaded a video I'm just doing a video every two days I'm just trying to do that and my last video, so far it's got seven viewers, pretty good, but no, no subs from it. So just please sub, subscribe to my channel, I'll appreciate that, and let's get into it. At number one, Gordon Coventry actually kicked nine goals in a grand final in, in 1928. He actually did, we, they played Richmond, Collingwood. Don't know who Gordon Coventry is. He kicked the second most goals of all time in football. History of AFL, AFL history. He kicked 1,299 goals. And yeah, the powerhouse for calling their best goal kicker in front of just in front of Dick Lee, who's kicked 700 and something. I don't even know. But yeah. I, I wanted to put that in because not many people know that. Most people just think Gary Ablett Senior kicked the nine goals from the grand final, that was it. And also, what would this mean in the 1985 grand final? You mean when Dermot Brereton and he kicked a, they claimed that the most goals and they put him in the record books for that. No, no, it was Gordon Coventry. Are you kidding me? That is unbelievable. How people didn't, how not many people know that. This is so weird. Uh, second spot we have in 1968, Bob Skilton is won his third and final brown line. And instead of a cow, they had, they put him, they got him on TV ringside. <laughs> is that so weird? <laughs> It is pretty weird. Bob Skilden's an absolute star. It would be better just doing a count. Back then they had counts, I'm pretty sure up the MCG. I don't know, I'm pretty sure they did. But back then, I don't know what they were thinking, but yeah. Uh, for our third fact is St Kilda lost their first 48 games. Not joking. I don't know how this happened, but it occurred with Cumberland, when did you think? Oh, I don't know what I said. So it was 1897 to mid-1900. And, and that's so weird. They did not get, in the 1800s, they literally did not. They just didn't pick up a single win. That's so weird. I need, uh, I'm going to count. So I'm pretty sure I won in round six against some team I don't even know. But yeah, that's why I have them there. That was pretty much the reason why. But yeah, I, I just wanted to put them in. Fourth place we have Geelong's first ever nickname was the Pivotonians. Isn't that so funny? What the hell is a Pivotonian, actually? I don't really know why it is a Pivotonian. But yeah, so I just don't know why I was called Pivotonian. So weird, like, generally. Really, so. That was her first ever nickname in 1859. Then they changed the seagulls and they got to the black cats and the cats. The year after Bob Pratt kicked his 150 goals in a season, 934, all this time. He actually did, I'm just saying. If you didn't, he did. One day before the 1935 grand final the Swans played the Pies Pratt was hit by a truck and missed the grand final the Swans lost that was weird wasn't I don't know why that happened I don't know how I don't just don't know how 
I don't have much info about this, so yeah, I just don't really have much to say about it. It was back in the 30s. Yeah, and also overall for this is it all has to be the 60s and down, like 70s, 80s, and 90s, and 2000s, 2010, and 2020s. Does not count for this video because it's obviously way too obvious. Yeah. yeah. So, number six, second last spot, we have Hawthorne's last ever wooden spoon was actually in 1965, and Geelong's was in 1958. The two longest servings for wooden spoon. And Hawthorne looks to be done this year. I think they'll break the streak for 2023. Geelong, I don't know when ever time soon. <laughs> I would say maybe 20 years. Maybe 30 years, I would say. Yeah, 30 ish years. Which will be 2053. They could get to a hundred years without make winning a wooden spoon. It wouldn't shock me, generally. So that's why I'm kind of simple. And Hawthorne, yeah, I was simple. The last one, seventh and last. Last time Colling won the grand final on the last Saturday of September was 1958. And I, of, of course, 2010 was a replay, so I had to play in October somewhere. But... They won a grand final in 99. This is amazing. It was in October 6th. What the hell? That, isn't that so weird? Yeah, so their last grand final was Saturday, September 1958. It should happen soon, maybe in the next five or ten years. So, yes, so. That's going to be it for the video, guys. Thanks, guys, nice for watching. Sorry it was a little short. I, thanks for watching my last video, whoever did shout out to you, and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye, guys.